Evening all, and welcome back to Factory Town. So, we're in the middle of trying to get this uh, elixir system working here, for which we need some transmitters. Uh, no, not transmitters, we need the other ones, the uh, recharges. We need uh, these things. But they're costing us resources we don't always have. Let's see whether I can get two in. Nope, I've got one in. Um, I have had a suggestion of how to fix this, and I think I'm going to implement that. Um, so thank you very much for for that suggestion there. Um, something else that I've noticed as well, which I need to desperately work on, is uh, I've been watching this sort of go on and off as we've gone, and we're actually out of apples here. So this does need more apple trees. So we might get onto that in a moment. But first and foremost, um, let's go over here and. Uh, yeah, uh, this here, we're turning it on and off this manually here, and uh, I should use logic to do it. Um, JanTube, yes, JanTube recommended this, and uh, thank you very much for the recommendation. I don't know why I'm not using logic as much as I once did. Uh, maybe because I think I overused it in a previous playthrough, so now avoiding it. But anyway, um, we are going to going to change this up ever so slightly I think yeah um, he says hopefully right let's move that out of the way and uh, I'll put in a conveyor like that and then move this back onto there and the reason I'm moving it there is just so I can widen this track like that. So, remove that on it. And then I'm going to put in the logic in between it, and uh, it makes sense in my head. So, we're going to want a uh, inventory center links to the barn, set to wooden planks. Gonna have a this saying if it is greater than what should we put in there? 100? Yeah, let's say 100. Oh no, not 1400, that would be a lot. Uh, if we're in 100, then turn that on. You link to that one there. So when this gets more than 100 inside it, it will turn the rail stop on, it can take them out. Um, other than that, it's gonna leave the rail stop off. So, and that will allow us to pick up our reinforced planks. To have some in storage. Um, I could do that in so many other places that I've just never really thought of. So, yep. Yeah. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Still going. Sorry, I was worried that was uh, stopped doing a stone for a minute there, but nope, that is still going. Uh, our iron is okay. Yeah, things are okay. Right, so. Um, let us uh, grab some conveyor belts and then we want to grab just a normal wagon full of oh what do we need what do we need we need normal manner and water so don't grab the wrong things that would not help let's grab that and go hey grab some normal manner you can yes again or some sauce Come down here, and we will go with. Does it matter which way we do it? No, it does not. So we're going to go with. Pop off that in there. Boom. Then we're going to pick you up. Bring you over to here. Let's say, grab some water. Put you down here and put you in the other one. I keep pressing escape. Whenever I put down a, a, a vehicle using the move key, my instinct is to press escape to cancel move, but it doesn't. It cancels it automatically, so it's not actually required. Okay, so there we go. That is now working, which is awesome. They will just go around in circles. I don't actually need the bypasses on here now I think about it. They can just sit in line and wait. We don't need the bypasses at all. So, 
Yeah, there's no point in having them go around for the recharger. For no reason. So, yeah. Okay. And that's going to do its thing there, and it's going to get health potions, and the health potions we're going to hit some elixirs, which is awesome. And then up here, we can put in another storage, and this can be set to elixirs. Oh, pause, pause, no, 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 no. Elixirs, thank you. I was going to pause the game then before cart come along, but uh, we were right. Uh, we don't have rail stop anyway, wouldn't have mattered. Right, and then we're going to grab a minecart, put him there, and filter him to elixirs. And then copy another minecart down here, and put him there. And uh, also filter to elixirs, and they can go back and forth doing their bits and pieces. We can then Copy two wagons and go you to Apothecary and you to Apothecary. And hopefully that will be the Apothecary done. Um or you just getting fish oil, you're just getting fish oil, aren't you? You're not actually getting ointment, so we aren't quite there yet. Um I might change these up to produce ointments instead. Which does require herbs, which is awkward to be here. But doable. I suppose. Kinda of doable. Difficult, but And I don't know where I'd get the herbs from. We'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Let's get the, um, there we go, you've got elixirs, awesome. Right, so, so yeah, so now we just need herbs. I, I might, might leave that one. I might might leave that one. We, we are yeah, we're only getting tier three on that one there, and it should be higher. But I don't know what else to really do with that. I was tempted to put a farm here and then have a, a boat take the stuff to here and just drop off and have these two kitchens, one doing oil, one doing ointments. Transmit the oil, oil, ointments up. And that might kind of work. I suppose, but um, what I really want to do is get on to the last one. Get on to that one. Let's let's hear the speciality goods. So, um, any book, any book will work. What what's what's the not easiest book to make? But what's the uh, um? All oh right, so they all they're all exactly the same. They all require exactly the same thing. So I suppose we'll do the protection spell book because. That makes sense. That absolutely makes sense in my head. Right. Okay. Um, we do have some other research to do as well. So, um, why is actual crystals themselves? Oh, that's not so bad. Let's do the luck, shall we? Oh, now here's a question. Here's an interesting question. Get me a caravan. Worker's caravan. Put it down there. Is that that uh oh. Ah, no. No no no, I'm completely wrong, sorry. Um I was gonna say, is uh that close enough to here to pick up the Crystals, but we're not actually making the crystals close enough, so there's no way I could go supply school because it'll go. Uh, well, I can take fire crystals from there, and that'd be alright. I can take books from there, and then it's going to give up. Yeah, because it's got no more fire crystals anyway, so. Um, hmm. 
Okay, you can stop. You can stop. Drop me in there. Right, so that's not quite going to work how I wanted. Air crystals over there. I've got fire crystals, earth crystals, and air crystals. That's right, that's water over there. Uh, okay. Right. You need to bring Omnisones down here as well. Because this requires Omnisones. So... Do that. Um, can't afford any more of them. We need wheels. Ooh, are we not making the wheels? I don't think we are. I don't actually think we're making any wheels anywhere. Not not um, iron wheels. They're made in a workshop. Nope. Where are oh, they made in a machine shop, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, iron wheels. I don't think we're making iron wheels anywhere. I don't think they're required for anything, which is... Well, not really surprising, to be honest with you, but... Okay. Uh... Iron wheel. Yeah. I mean, it's just not required for anything. Okie dokie, right. You're making gears and belts. You're making rail ties. You're the only two... Oh no, we've got another one there. Machine shop there. Making steam pipes. And the steam pipes go into there. Okay, well we can... Upgrade you. I think. Um, let's pause this. Let's... Upgrade this barn. Turn off the filter on it. Then we're going to say you are going to be steam pipes. You are going to be steam pipes. So we store two hundred steam pipes. You are going to be um, iron wheels, and you are going to be turned off. There we go. Right. Okay. And uh, you're then going to put in. Two of those with wheels and with um the pipes. And then also tell him to make uh iron wheels. There we go, and that will give us some iron wheels. We don't need that many of them, really. We don't need a hundred iron wheels, but Yeah, yeah, we don't need hundred wild iron wheels at all. But it doesn't matter. We've got them now. That's that's it. Right, okay. So you're going through and you've got there, which is fine. So let's turn all this back on because I turned it all off. I have no idea what's actually what the ratios were before. I cannot remember now. You're clearly supposed to be going faster, so Go faster. Okay, so you're now grabbing the grain slightly faster than the chute can work. Let's go with four, shall we? Four, yeah, four's just on the chute limit. Okay. I mean, you're working all optimally. You're doing your bits and pieces. You're doing your bits and pieces. You will be doing your bits and pieces because you won't be doing them because you don't actually have any way of getting mana stones down here mana um, crystals so let's put in another one of these and I've got ones up here I think I've used them in the past didn't I just run it directly from this I think I did but we're going that way now. Right. Boom. 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 There we go. That and that. There we go. And you want to grab a bunch of these and put it in there. Off you go. Why are you going around that way? Strange caravan. Okay.
Um, I'm going to upgrade all these to be... Magic over. Sorry, I, I'm I'm distracted by things. That's what it is. Uh, right. So I'm I'm trying to remember what the ratios were for how things were going here, or whether I need to expand this out. And I'm racking my brain, going, was it this? Was it that? And I just don't remember. Right. Okay. Uh, you can stop now. That should be enough to block that whole system up, which it clearly is. And as you go, you are you're full, you're full, you're full. That's awesome, right? So uh, you can just go and drop your goods back off there, and you're done, uh, right? Okay. Um, that barn is not needed anymore. Goodbye. You're getting mana stones in, and we're currently just working on the fire. Well, we're out of fire stones, so okay, right. But the other thing we want to do is put in another enchanter here, I suppose. Like so, into a barn. You want to be set to protection spell books. A grabber, that way. Okay, and then all you need is earth power, which are. Uh, Again, it's very simple to do, but we don't have any um, iron uh, reinforced planks all here, so that's a bit of a problem. Um, you're running that there, you're fine, no problem there. You also require, um, we really need to step up our, our um, reinforced plank production. But I think the issue is to it is that we're just not getting enough nails in, and I don't know why we're full there. No, we're not getting the iron plates in. That's the problem. And that is just a supply. That single belt coming down is not enough, but if you put two belts on there, it's just not going to work. Because these aren't going to keep up, we have to expand it, so no, we're going to have to spend a bit of time. Just uh, generally waiting for that to go. Um, but that will be our spell books in place anyway, which we can bring over quite easily. Uh, what's the next one? Magical conveyor belts, we are making them. Magic cloaks, we're not making. And necklaces, we are making. So, all we need to do is also make magic cloaks. Is that in the enchanter as well? One would expect it to be. Do, 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 do. Magic cloak, there it is. Requires a cloak, and some wool, and some mana power. Okay. Okay, um, let's look here, you're making cloth and cloth and that's filled up with cloth which is good, you're making shirts not cloaks, okay, what's required to make a cloak, cloak requires a shirt and leather, right, so to make a shirt and leather, uh, no, hang on, hang on, sorry. Um, a cloak requires cloth and leather, not a shirt and leather. How strange. Cloth and leather. So we need cloth, we need leather, and we need wool and magic. Um, put that down here. Then we've got to do transport up from here along and I haven't figured out how I do that yet. Maybe another train. Come in, go out, dunno, dunno, could do, could do another train here. Another train could come along, go along this side, drop off into, well we've only got one there but we need two really don't we? Um, although that's not so far away as to, uh, we could we could figure out the delivery, that's fine, delivery is easy. Um, Right, so uh, what are you drilling? 
用量决定。You don't have any natural internal ones, and if you eat them up, you just make them disappear. So I want to stop you now. I think, I think you're going to drop off and then stop, and you're done. Yep. Thank you very much. Um, because if the the drill actually uses up a deposit, um, the deposit will disappear. Whereas if a mine uses it, it becomes depleted. So important difference. Very important difference there. Um, right. You're going, you're going very slowly. Mm. I want to put in more recharges, but I can't afford them. So I don't really know how to here. Six is about right, it's going down there. Um, you could probably go slower because you're not going at full speed. Let's speed you up then. There we go. Um, let's also speed up the pasture. Not the pasture is required, it's the actual paper that's the problem here. Yeah. Yeah, so let's slow down the pasture. Um, slow down the mill. And slow the farm by down. Because there's no point in having people do that. Not that it matters. We've got loads of people. I could just leave it, but we haven't got loads of people. We're under 100 left now. Um, I do have more houses to put down, and I should really get around to doing that at some point. Uh, But, um, I haven't really, there we go. That might, uh, speed up our magical bookness. And, uh, at least get things going a little bit. This one just requires mana, uh, earth power. Which we can't do yet. Again, we're waiting for the reinforced planks. Uh, but yes, so, um, as I said, the other one is Magical Cloaks. We need those. So, um, I'll tell you what, if we put that down here as well. Because we are producing leather here. So why don't we use this? Why don't we use this and put it here? Produce leather over here. Uh, the leather can come out and um, go into a... Workshop. We also need wool, so I might have to build another pasture with wool. Which is worried about overloading this farm. We can expand this farm out anyway, and we can put more in. We've got plenty of space here, so yeah, let's do that. Let's put in a pasture, like so. And we'll put in a well for him. going to make wool and the reason I'm going the wool route rather than just going with the planting cotton and granite is because we need wool later on for the enchanter anyway so yeah why not just do it that way so we'll grab a workshop and we'll say hey workshop you want to be making us cloaks which requires leather and you run out of water Ah, right, okay. Do it that way, do it that way, there we go, and then you're gonna get water from water. Okay. And then you'll get more from two sources that will help you out. 
awesome sauce. Right, okay. Oh dear. Um, don't do that. I'll do that, and then let these go up by one. So we need the one of those. There we go. With a splitter, if you'd be so kind. And uh, you do probably actually need to speed up now. Because you're supplying two things at once. So you've got leather and you need cloth. Ah, you're going to have to make cloth as well, aren't you? So, um, cloth. There we go. Okie dokie. And uh, we can say. Mm, no. Say no. Oh no, that's a very, very bad line there. Alright. I'll flatten that out a bit and. Uh, out. There we go. Okay, okay. Not that I need to pause it because this is actually producing anything yet. So, well, there we go. Thank you. Okay, okay. And uh, now speed up. Which means you can speed back up to four. Five, I can't remember. I think it was four. Yep, four is about right. So you're starting to get actual logs in, that's good, but you're gonna run out of trees. That's fine. You're still doing absolutely fine for this. You just need more paper. Uh, you are running at full whack. Plenty of water. You're struggling for animal feed, which is to be expected. I think it's to be expected because the shoot can't supply it fast enough, I don't believe. Okie dokie, there we go, that's all working, that's all being what we need it to be, which is awesome. You are producing cloaks, which is fantastic. Uh, so we want to flatten the ground down a little tiny bit in front of you there. Put in our enchanter and say you want to be set to magical cloaks. As cloak and wool, we need to run a thing around the edge. And what I'm going to do is put in a pusher there and say supply the workshop first. And then when the workshop is done, supply the enchanter. You're going to do that, but you're going to only output cloaks. Okay. And then we'll grab a, another barn. Over there. Filter this barn to magical cloaks. I should really filter that one to protection spells because I know what the system is like when it goes terribly wrong. Okay, you're a full. I'm going to upgrade you once at least to get this going again. There we go. All right. Okay, so you require mana power and wool and you're not getting either of those at the moment. You are running... you're not. Yeah, supply and demand is a problem here that we're not getting enough not enough grain coming into this thing here it's um, not getting enough uh, well it is enough grain not getting enough grain coming into it uh, we can fix that but then we're not going to get enough grain coming into it overall although I think if I'm honest with you we can probably do that anyway and then change this up here if we stop you for a moment do, 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 do. put in those two there put in those two there oh, with a grabber and then turn this farm up to its maximum capacity 
pretty damn sure that that can supply... Oh, it's standing about steady, actually. That's good. And then you're just going to get full and... Uh, yeah, you now can't output fast enough. That's your problem. But that can be fixed by putting in the conveyor belts. You're going to get wool now. Okay, so that's working. It's working very slowly, but it is working. Okay. Right. And all we need to do now is put in a recharging system for this enchanter and that enchanter. Get the stuff from these two um, barns over to here. And uh, we are pretty much done. Um, everything will be... Uh, oh, well, we also need to get um, magic of our over, but that's that's doable from over there. We can grab them quite easily, and uh, we are absolutely done. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pause here for a moment, um, and uh, I'm going to wait for my reinforced planks to build up. And um, once we can build it up, um, um, and I'll, I'll build the uh, recharging systems once that's all built up, and we'll get it going, and we'll put in. I think I might put in a rail system here. Just a little rail system going along, uh, coming along here somewhere. Dropping off the goods to probably here, because that seems like as good a place as any. And then going back. And having some carts come along and do that. And uh, yeah, everything would then be absolutely awesome. So. I think all would be good then. Okay, so um, we'll be back in a moment once my reinforced planks have built up. Okay, so uh, we're back and um, note to self, when you come back from a break and you want to start recording again, actually push record because I've been talking for about 20 minutes and you've not been hearing me, which is probably a good thing. But anyway, um, I have done a few things on camera that weren't actually being recorded. So yeah, uh, I have put together all the um, systems here for supplying mana to the enchanter here and here uh, we have almost 150 books and almost 150 cloaks we are severely running out of resources for this though um, wool is a big one um, I've upgraded some of these things here you can see this farm's now got a lot more and it's got fertilizer um, I upgraded this grain mill here as a test with Omni stones and he's now using way more than the farm can produce so I'm going to upgrade the farm zombie stones as well bom, bom. three three there we go that's just starting to that's outdoing two magic conveyor belts the farm is producing more goods than two magic conveyor belts can deal with so yeah I can put a third one in if I need to but um, um and I think that's a about right there we go that's now running um i could put a third belt in i think i'm going to um like so a bomb there we go which means i can do a third upgrade which i like doing i like doing um going to four 200 mana start on my own but we got plenty of my own so there we go bomb there we go. Right. So now that's running at 1,261%. And uh, is not quite saturating, but it's almost three mana conveyor belts worth of goods, which means it's producing more than this can do. Um, this is struggling because it can't actually get the resources in. So we have to do the same for this one here. Boom, boom. There we go. So now we've got three out and three in. So it's not quite three out, three in. But yeah, but then this will fill up and this will back up and. I think that's going there we go it's going up now so we're getting a net gain of, of stuff and uh this is now capped out this has got obviously a pusher going into here to get the leather as a priority and then we're going over to this pasture secondary um, and that is all now backed up we'll come to a oh, screaming halt um which is which is fine i think we are actually struggling for wool so i'm going to increase the wool people there to get that going 
Um, and we actually, water is becoming a bit of a problem as well, so... Hmm. Not really a great deal I can do about the water, unfortunately, though, because I can't really... I could put in another well, but, um, I don't know. Okay, uh, our forest is out of wood, which is a bit of a problem, but I'm not really fussed about that because we're doing okay for books in here. The issue is actually getting the mana here, and uh, I might steal some mana out of this one. Because I put way too, I put a whole um, wagon worth of mana into this one here, and uh, I'm not going to path over there, are you? No, no you're not. Um, right, let's 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 build a bridge, and let's build a bridge properly, and not do it the way I keep doing it, which is not necessarily the wrong way, but um, yeah. So, uh, oh well, there we go. We can just build a bridge straight over, and then come down the other side. Okay. And what we should be doing for bridges is uh, you've got the road ramp, which I never use. I use the stairs, and I know they're slower. Should use the road ramp. The reason I don't use the road ramp, and I will show you exactly why, and it's purely just aesthetics. If you look at it from the side, you can barely see it there. Let me let me put this in a better place so you can actually see it. Um, put it up here. Um, if I put them like that, and then I put down those there, um, they're different colours. Look. The road bridge is a different colour to, to that there. It doesn't it doesn't fit. So when you build your your bridge like so, and uh, you then do that and then put in the um, do, do, do uh, well technically it would be a stone bridge would be what you should put on top of that because it's stone and it just doesn't it doesn't fit. Why are the outsides to the road bridge wood? Surely this should be stone. That would make sense, right? It uses stone, don't use any wood. Why, why are they wood? I don't know. But that's the reason I haven't been using them, is because they look a little weird. But um, got a lot of people saying, oh, I should be using them instead, instead of the stairs, because they are faster. And you're right, they are faster. Um, and if I use the stone bridge, which is also faster for travelling, then it will just make things so much faster all over the world. Can you take mana crystals out of there, please? You can't take mana crystals out of a mana transmitter? Really? Or can you not... You can't get to it. Can you not drive over potatoes? Wow, you can't drive over potatoes. Okay. So yeah, so we're going to take a come out of there, which are all stuck up and because this isn't using power and put some more in here to get this going a bit better um not that we need it we've got plenty of books but you know just to give it a bit of boost we'll, we'll still we'll still eight from it and off we go um you will notice as well i've got lots of reinforced planks and i've got all this set up here i've also got some things down here to set this up for the mana but i haven't done that yet and the reason i have them is because i didn't actually spend any oh, i might spend a couple on Bits pieces here, but not many. And the reason is because over at my mines, oh, also this here, um, uh, the earth one that was parked here, for some bizarre reason, the boat that was traveling from there to there stopped working and would not travel. I moved him halfway and told him to go, and he went, I'll sail over to here and then I'll stop. And I think it's because I moved the earth silo over by one point, because I did that, I moved it over by one, and then it couldn't reach. So that is the distance that they can travel. It was the exact distance, so I had to put it there. So um, uh, I'm very sorry. I, I did say I was going to probably put things in the centre here, but um, it, they won't travel that far, which is annoying because I did want to put like a little, like got here, a little raft around it and build a little thing there. But you know, we've got a we've got an island floating. Well, not floating, it's on a pillar, but yeah. Anyway, um, this here, this is what I've done. Um, I've I've got a mana transmitter into a barn, and the barn going out to meh. Transmitters, many, many, many transmitters going into another barn, which then transmits out, and all this is on one loop. Now, when I first put this in, they were getting all the way to the bottom, and it was working. But I think that's just because it was saturated so much. Now it's spaced itself out and evened out a little bit, 
They're not really getting past here. The odd one comes down to here. You see, but not really. So this isn't particularly going to work. These down the bottom are going to run out. So I think... I don't know what the exact ratios are, but we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12. 12 rechargers running at full pace. They're all full all the time, pretty much. Um, 12 rechargers can pretty much deal with one, two, three, four mana connectors there. So that's 3 to 1, isn't it? 3, 6, 9, 12, yeah. So you need three rechargers running at full pace to keep up with a single mana connector using the Earth Shrine. And that's if they're at full weight. They're always being used. So that's to keep it fully, fully charged. So, yeah. The 3 to 1 ratio. So really, I need more recharges here. I need to have a bank. I need like this for the top 4 and this for the bottom 4. So, yeah, 12. Which is what I had before, I believe. But doing this setup means you only require one receiver and one transmitter. Lots and lots of input ones. Um, uh, I could just have these directly out to belt, so I don't need to use the barns for these. But... I thought, well, why am I using like a receiver for this one, and then one for this one, and then one for this one, and one for this one, and yeah. So, so I figured out that ratio: three to one, three three recharges to one. Um, there's nothing else I did. I don't think I never fixed the Apple problem over here. This is completely out of apples now. Let's do that right now. Um. Let's do that and then let's put down can't copy apple trees plant apple tree and that should help him do his thing yeah okay you are producing stuff you're doing things you're not really producing many elixirs and that's because you don't have enough remedies you don't have enough remedies because you're the remedy maker I never put you up to high people. So let's put more people in there and there we go, that should balance that one out. So, um, all I need to do is connect up our full stop barn of protection spells and our full magic and um, to here and we're done. Um, obviously I've got to upgrade these houses as well, but um, but I, I I feel as if I'm I'm done with this. I'm, I'm feeling it's, um, I'm gonna bring this, this series to a close here. I think this is, this is done, we've achieved what I wanted to do, everything would be, uh, yeah, that would be mana cloaks, that would be protection spells, that makes sense, that would, mana conveyors coming from over there. We've got the supplies to do this all. I know I should do it, but I'm, I'm gonna leave it as is, and um, yeah, this this will do. So, um, uh, yeah, I think that's where we're gonna bring this whole series to a close. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I know I have, it's been, it's been interesting all the upgrades coming through halfway through it's been a bit weird but i'm looking forward to actually doing another map and doing it um i might take a few days off of this to um there's a few other games come out that i want to give a go so um might not be an episode on monday not sure not sure uh but anyway um i hope you've enjoyed this one i do hope to see you in the next one and do please leave your suggestions below for what map i should do um, i've had one where i just have land with a big lake in the middle uh, there are links, I think, so yeah, we'll give that a go, and um, we'll take it from there. So, thank you very much, and um, I will see you next time. Until then, have fun. <laughs>